Hey guys, Clumsy here, and uh, welcome back to Plane Mechanics Simulator. Thank you for the feedback on the first episode. A couple of guys wanted to see more, and I've heard from Alex that it gets quite complicated quite soon. So I want to see how that works. Not sure if I'm looking forward to that so much though. It might be a challenging predicament. Anyway, let's get on with the mission. For this next one, we have to be... We have to check the undercarriage and refuel the aircraft. There's going to be a lot of landings today. Make sure that the undercarriage is in good condition. Okay. Quite interesting. How do you do that? I guess we have to disassemble it or something. We have to look below, so I guess we have to make use of this jack. Um, can you place it somewhere? Oh, there you go. There's the undercarriage. There is a hint there. Let's put that there. Um, maybe I have to go. I have to go prone or something. How did we lift that? I guess that's not too heavy, huh? Maybe. No clue. Okay. And then, do we need this other one as well? Or I think I think that might be enough to take a look. We can go prone like this, and we can. Disassemble stuff like. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> Might be fumbling about here. So that's the jack. We can take a look. And let's see. Okay, maybe let's go to inspection mode. What can we inspect? Can we inspect something here? tail skid it's damaged there you go okay so that's something we need to replace is that everything though it's a good question we also need to take a look in here the exhaust pipe is good propeller is fine Let's go and check that below. Maybe we can take a look here. Can you remove that? No, we'll have to remove the other ones first. Okay. Um, do I really want to do that though? Let's replace the other one first and let's see if that will be enough, right? Maybe that will be enough. So in order to remove that, the tail skid, Okay, just a lot of screws. All the screws. Because we for sure don't want that to come off in the middle of a flight. <laughs> Grace was saying something. So he was saying I was recently just playing X-Plane and now I'm playing Plane Mechanic Simulator. And I said, yeah, I think that's because 2019 is really the, the time for flight sims for me. And then he was saying something like the the, the planes that I crash in X-Plane, I, I drive them here and then I fix them. <laughs> it's a two-step approach. Select a part to restore. Tail skid, that's the one, yeah. A repairable, no. Ah, okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Alright, so we'll have to replace that fully. It's not salvageable. Okay, let's go with that. Sign. Beautiful. Professional signage. Okay, let's bring that map. Install that in. And screw everything. That didn't sound so good. Maybe don't screw everything. Okay, one sec. And over here. Yeah? Is that enough? Are we missing something? Good. So that's one. But I think... A lot of landings. Okay. So if it's, if it's for landing, that should be a check. But also we need to check the tires probably, huh? The hinges and everything. So if these, this is working correctly, um, the wheel, 
Yeah, there you go. Compression leg. The left compression leg is good. So the wheels are damaged, so we'll have to change that. Okay, the wheel cap itself is fine. Yeah, we're good. Let's remove that. But in order to remove that, we'll have to remove the wheel cap first. One by one, like so. Good. We'll have to... Wait a minute. Can I can not remove anything anymore. I think it's buggy with the... Oi! One sec, what happened? Keep at two. One. Okay, there. There we go. Um, hello? Okay, that's broken. I want to remove it. Why can I not? Okay, let's try this one first. There's a bit of a pixel misalignment thing. Hmm, okay, let's see if this one works. I, I did this before already. Ah, yeah, you have to remove the one in the middle, but I lost my cursor, weirdly enough. Okay, there you go. Zoom, maybe? What the heck is happening here? Ah, oh, no, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm missing critical part of the thing. You cannot do that if you don't have a jack. My bad. My bad. Okay, here we are. Uh huh. We're here. Lift that up. Lift the plane. Power. Heave. Okay, I think we're good. And now we can remove it. Okay, there we go. Sorry. My bad. Alright. And the next one here. Okay, perfect. Are there other, other stuff we need to check here? Not really. Everything is good. Alright, I don't think we can uh, salvage those. If those are broken, then we'll need to get new stuff in. Alright, there we go. Install that. I think we have to update that somehow. Telling you that if you want to remove the wheel, you can still click it, but then maybe the guy will say no. Just so you know that it's not a bug, you're doing something wrong. Because right there, you just couldn't click it. There we go, check the undercarriage. Good. And then we have to refuel it, I think, right? Okay, so maybe we can remove the jack now. Um, maybe we lower it first. Oh, I have to really circle my mouse like this. There we go. I like the implementation of that jack. It feels really... feels so real. Okay. Leave that there. Get this one as well. Leave that there. And refuel it. In the ladder. Okay, maybe don't climb it yet. Maybe take it first. Okay, good. Let's get the hose. Climb up. Get rid of that. And put the hose in. Good. Turn it on. Oh yeah. Do we need to really fill it to the brim though? Like when I was flying the Cessna, flying the Cessna 172, it was almost always like a quarter full only. Maybe just enough for the trip. But maybe during war it's a different thing. Maybe we need really to have it full like this. Okay, bring back the cap. And this. 
take the ladder away. See ya. No goodbye, no, no, no anything. Okay, good. I think we're good there. Let's complete that. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's quite different from the last uh, few jobs that we did. And we are halfway there for a promotion. What's up next? Can probably do a couple more for missions before we end this episode. Check the spark plugs while preparing the aircraft. Some elements like the spark plugs are parts of a larger assembly. These can be removed altogether which will be recovered later. For now, remember that clicking on an assembly once will select it, allowing you to remove its parts. You can deselect the assembly with the right mouse button. Okay. That's intriguing. Let's see. So probably if we're talking about spark plugs, then it should be near the engine. So it should be somewhere there maybe. Let's have a look if it's somewhere here. Um, probably this is the engine cover, so it should be right here on this side probably. Carburetor. Uh -huh. I know I'm fumbling about and I have no clue about the plane engines so I'm not sure how it looks like even. I have a slight idea how a spark plug looks like but I was never the hardware kind of guy so you will have to bear with me here. Cylinder block. Ah, that, that should be the, that one, right? Okay, that's a cylinder block. Let me see. I might need to remove this. There you go. Let's remove that so I can see better. Okay, let's go and look for... There you go, so I can see better. Ah, there we go, okay. So it's a... Oh, four... Inline four. Maybe, if that's also how we call it. Okay, so we've clicked the assembly. We can open that, probably. Um, uh, where is the spark plug, though? Is it on the other end of the engine? Of the cylinder? Uh, the cylinder block is this one all the way. Let's see. Is it maybe at the top though? Maybe I'm looking at a different thing. Maybe I need to remove the top one here. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's remove that as well. What else? Maybe this one as well. Remove that top thing. Might be disassembling more than we need to, but this is a learning experience. Okay, let's remove this cover. Oh, dang it, that requires so much there. Maybe I'm doing the right thing here already. Uh, maybe the spark plug is inside. Okay, I'm, I'm a lazy guy, so I'll uh, think about this one first. Cylinder block, okay. That's the valve. Does anything look like a spark plug there? Rocket. Mm hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I have a feeling it's here. So let's go with that. So I'll have to remove this one first. Spinner. And then the hub. Okay. Thank goodness I don't have to hold the mouse down. <laughs> don't be too much otherwise. Okay, remove the propeller. Uh, now can I remove the top thing? Okay, we need the front engine cowling. Oh goodness, disassembling the entire engine now. Uh, okay, remove the hub. Phew. Okay, now we can remove this. All the screws. 
This is getting interesting. Alright. Now we can... Okay, maybe not yet. A few more. <laughs> this is very interesting though, isn't it? <laughs> Goodness. Okay, can we open it now? Finally. There we go. Oh my goodness. I think that requires a, a photo of its own there. Because my... <laughs> yeah. It's a thumbnail right there. Okay, let's remove all the things. Oh, it's an even like a two-step thing, top and bottom. I guess it kind of makes sense. You don't want your engine flying off in the middle of your flight. <laughs> so, <laughs> really have to secure it, huh? Okay. Hopefully, I'm not doing this exaggeratedly, but if I am, then we'll call it a learning experience. I wonder if there are parts where you have to really, like disassemble the screws in the right order otherwise the thing would fall off or something like that. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I can know, I don't know, maybe with tires like you have to screw it like opposite ends and not just next to each other so that it would close properly or evenly. Okay. This is even taking longer, I think, than if I just disassemble the entire thing there. But I'm guessing the spark plug is on that side. One spark plug for each cylinder, right? I think. Please don't hate me if I'm saying no sensical, nonsensical things. <laughs> really a noob when it comes to hardware. Engines and stuff, beyond me. That's why I never played my summer car. I would just rage quit all the way. Okay. Come on, just a bit more. A few more screws, last four I think. And last one. There we go. Piston rod, crankshaft bearing. Um, not really seeing it. Uh, that's the piston, yes. Piston rod, where the heck is it? Oh, it might be biting me already. Okay, maybe it's at the bottom and I didn't need all this stuff. Let's try it. Okay, if I... is that it? Cylinder head? Oh, that's fine. Okay, if I remove this... Need to remove the bracket first. Oh, I think I just did something that we don't really need. Okay, now we can remove the mechanism. OMG. No. Cylinder head. We really need to remove... Ah, there we go. There's the spark plug. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was looking at the... Okay, so we didn't really need to remove that entire thing. Fine. Spark plug. That's good. Staring me right in the face. Uh, where are the others? Must be hidden. Underneath. And of course, that's the one which is damaged. The one behind the engine. Okay, that one is damaged. So if you want to assemble, disassemble that, we'll have to remove that thing. There you go. That was actually not too bad, right? But we're learning here, we're learning here. Okay, I doubt I can fix that, but just in case. Wow. <laughs> so many parts. <laughs> Disassembled the entire plane because you don't know where it is. What is that? Oh, this is interesting. You can actually like zoom in and stuff. Okay, go and replace the spark plug. <laughs> Disassemble the entire plane, will you? Okay. 
signature getting uglier and uglier by the minute. Installed it there. Bring back that thing. That is that easy and I disassemble the entire frigging thing. Okay, let's bring back this guy. Screw that up. Maybe don't screw it up, but screw it off. And I wonder if I can be doing something at the same time. Maybe I can assemble some of the other stuff I've disassembled, like this one. Maybe that will mean like we have an assistant or something. Yeah, that works. Or not. No, it's actually waiting for the others to screw in. Okay. So the screwing <laughs> is single core. No parallel jobs working. Okay, fine. Screw that up. Okay, and uh, fix that thing. My bad. I'm sorry. Good, okay. So we try to uh, connect the others as well. And in order to do that, I'll have to... Hmm. Bring back the cowling, yes. Is that good? Hopefully I didn't miss a screw. Let's remove this thing again. I don't know. Okay, so we cannot remove it yet. What's it uh, screwing now? That one, okay. Almost done. Good. Where are we now? That thing, I think? Yeah, that's good. Okay, it's done, finally. Okay, and I think we are good there. We can bring those back. And that one back. Bring back this guy here. The front plate. Phew. <laughs> Maybe it could have helped if the guy told us where the frigging spark plugs were. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Good. And bring back the other plates first and screw that in. And I think we're almost done in front here. And we should be able to continue at the bottom. We also disassembled quite a few parts in there. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. We'll see my inventory. We'll check my inventory if I did miss something. Okay, bring back the bracket. And then the cover for this guy, I think. Right? That cover. Yeah, that one. We're good. Okay. Let's bring back the cowling, the bottom engine cowling, and I think we did it good now. Let me just check my inventory. Yeah, okay, we assembled everything. Will you look at that? We actually did it. Alright, bring that back. Close it. Also the same with the other one. Good as new, my goodness. We did it. Alright, we also, we still need to refuel, but that's like routine work now. Uh, take it, take it and go. Like so. Thank you. We just cleaned out the plane a little, the engine. <laughs> Phew. Wow, empty. Good. Climb it. Take it. 
close it bring it back and see ya he's going right there you go take the ladder okay we're good I think we're good let's sign that off I'm confident that your plane is cleaner than ever we should get some extra points there they didn't only check the spark plugs, we disassembled the entire thing. Perfect job. <laughs> Maybe not that perfect. Fine. Let's do one more job. Let's see if this will be uh, less of a uh, headache. Oh my goodness. Right after takeoff, we were hit by a bird. Ouch. Luckily, we were able to land safely. Please fix the damage and check the compression legs. The landing was rough. Ow. Okay. So the propeller, the front windscreen, ow, will we see like blood here and everything? Good thing we don't have refuel anymore, oh my goodness. What the heck? How are we able to land even? Emergency landing I guess, huh? Can still rotate it, kind of. Oh, that hurts. Okay, we know how this works now. Previous mission was for practice. <laughs> Quite interesting, huh? And as you get to know the parts more, actually it gets uh, easier, kind of. There's even an expert mode, you might have seen it in the main menu. Like, you can go to expert mode so it doesn't highlight the stuff, I think, and you really have to do it your own. Like, the, the, the screws, you have to really know which screws you have to detach. Let's remove the front windshield. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's blood, there's the bird. Rip bird. Okay. Will that get removed automatically? Yes, okay, good. And then we'll have to also check the legs here. Uh, where was it? The compressor thingy. Yeah, compression leg. Oh, yeah. Not very good. Not very good. Now, how do we disassemble you? I guess we'll need the jack. And then we'll just request everything in one go. Yeah, no refueling here at all. The truck isn't here. They didn't need to refuel because they just left the... Uh, they just took off. And met with that accident. Okay, lift it up. Good. Now we can remove it. I think we'll need to remove the wheel first, the tire. No, actually we can remove it already. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not directly connected there. So this is, I guess, like the, the shock absorber huh, for when you're landing. This is probably going to be the most damaged part when I'm doing the landing. <laughs> All those hard landings. Yeah, not very good. Okay, I think that's okay. We can go and uh, replace all those. Uh, but wait a minute, before we do that, let me double check that we cannot just fix some of these. Yeah, we don't. We don't have an option to do that. Fine. Yes. Check everything. Four points, that's fine. And voila, like magic. Bring those back, bring back the legs. Just two screws there. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Didn't we have like three screws a while ago? Yeah, we have three. Maybe I clicked it already. Maybe I clicked it already, yeah. Okay, compression legs are good. The windshield, let's bring back as well. Let's get a better view there. Maybe I can go from here. Yeah, inside. This is probably better. Very nice models here, huh? Textures are pretty accurate. They even have like the shininess on the gauges like that. Very nicely modeled. Good. Brand new windshield. And now let's install the new propeller. Need the hub. Or the propeller first, I think. Can never remember the order. There you go. Propeller first. Good. There we go. 
That was interesting. Quite different. It's interesting that you have the engine like all exposed here. Is that for ventilation or something? That sounds... that looks very dangerous. Like, well, I guess the propeller would be spinning all throughout, so that would be fine. Okay, let's try and spin it to see if it works. Now that is how a plane should look like. Perfect. Okay, let's see. We're good. Windscreen, propeller, and the compression legs. What? Oh, dang it. Yeah, I was uh, looking for that, but I couldn't see the icon, right? Oh, dang. Okay, fine. Fine. I call that a bug. No, I just missed it. I knew there was something more there. Filters. Okay, well, let's do this in the next episode, I think. I think that's enough work for today. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know if you want to see more. And if you did enjoy this one, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, comment, share with your friends, all that stuff, alright? Catch you in the next episode if there is any. Let me know if you want to continue this series. It would be nice to disassemble the entire thing. Hmm, maybe a bit chaotic. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and bye-bye. Clumsy, signing off.